Hey guys, if you're looking for wedding gift ideas or wedding ideas, then do not go anywhere else. Do not press X, do not go on another tab. Stay right here and listen up to what I'm gonna show you because it's gonna make everyone else super jealous. Very quickly before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that if you have any questions at all or comments throughout the video, to leave a comment below and we'll get back to you with an answer. And I also wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed so far. If you are new here, welcome. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click subscribe right now. And you can also click on that little bell icon so you can turn your notifications on and get uh, notified when we post our videos. All right, so even if you're not an embroiderer and you don't have an embroidery machine, this video is still for you because I'm gonna give you some great ideas if you're a bridesmaid or a maid of honor or even just a guest to give to your bride. And even if you're a bride, then go ahead and watch this too because this might be a great idea for you. So wedding embroidery is awesome. I love it so much. There's such a need for it. Um, I used two designs and I actually, I, I, sorry, I used one design and I actually turned it into two. So as you can see here, this will be for the bridesmaids. It says I do crew. And then this one will be for the bride. It says I do. And also, I mean, it can say anything. It can say bride. It can say bridesmaid. But uh, this is my favorite one. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to actually embroider um, the I do onto the bride's robe. So I'm gonna show you how it is and then what I have planned because actually I'm extremely excited to do this video because my sister is getting married in November. So we're gonna go ahead and now ask our um, uh, friends and family to be her bridesmaids. So what we're gonna do is that we're going to embroider these robes and we're going to send it to them in a little uh, box with some tissue paper and a nice little invitation that says, will you be my bridesmaid? All right, so let's talk about the materials that we're gonna be using for this bridesmaid robe. So first off, I wanna tell you guys where I got this robe. I got this on robemart.com and they have really good affordable wholesale robes and um, the quality is it's quite there. It's, um, it's uh, pretty sturdy. It's not like too flimsy and it, it, it's, a, it's a good quality for the price that you pay. I got this for under $15. I believe it was like 12 or $13. So um, it's really good if you are an embroiderer and you are looking to get into this market and you want to um, embroider th these and then resell them. And it's also good if you are um, looking to get this embroidered and want to uh, buy good quality robes that are still very affordable, then you can go ahead and do this. Um, I actually have a satin robe similar to this from Victoria's Secret that looks uh, just about the same and is like, I would say three times the price. So, you know, the quality is, is there. So that's my mini review on Robe Mart. Now let's get into the uh, embroidery design. So the embroidery design, I got this from Etsy. I believe uh, it's called uh, Boutique Fonts. They have some really nice uh, wedding embroidery. And um, I got this I Do Crew design that I showed you earlier. And um, basically what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to use the I Do Crew design for the um, bridesmaids. And then I'm going to use the I Do on its own for the uh, uh, bride. And that design was also like under $3. I think it was like two something. So it was a really good price. And you get basically two designs in one because you'll have your bride design and then you'll also have your bridesmaids designs. Um, some other things that you can put on the back of your bride and your bridesmaids robes are, um, you can put bride, of course. You can put bridesmaid. Um, also, if you uh, have your mother, you can put mother of the bride. So there are a lot of uh, great ideas that you can find on uh, wedding embroidery for robes specifically and even for other garments too. So as you can see, this the robe is white because this will be the bride's robes. Now the bridesmaid's robes will be um, burgundy with white lettering instead. So it's just gonna be inverted. And that's because the color of the wedding is also gonna be uh, burgundy so and gold. So I want you guys to keep that in mind when you're picking all of your um, custom apparel for your wedding. Now for the embroiderers here watching, let's get into the embroidery part. Um, and we as embroiderers know that satin is a little bit tricky to embroider because it is a little slippery. So I'm gonna show you just a quick and easy way that you can get uh, satin to uh, work well with your hoop. Yeah. So I'm gonna be using my size E hoop and a piece of firm cutaway. And this is gonna help. As you can see, this has a little, very little stretch. Um, so this is really gonna help um, keep that garment into place and 
of course we're going to pair it with some temporary adhesive spray and that will do the trick on its own. This is such a, a good cutaway as you can see because it does not stretch so it's not like the other soft cutaways that kind of will move around. This is like very firm, will stay right there in the hoop. So I'm just going to go ahead and start hooping. I'm going to spray the temporary adhesive spray. Be sure to spray your temporary adhesive spray away from your garment and from the area that you'll be working on because you don't want it to gum up. So a lot of people prefer to use um, tear away for um, materials such as robes because they don't want the backing showing. Um, I will always suggest the opposite. I will suggest cutaway will give you the very best results. It'll give you the best stability, especially on such a slippery fabric. So. If I were you, I'd use the cutaway and, and take the chance of the backing showing because regardless, it's not going to show um, in the front. So be sure to smooth out all these wrinkles. You can also iron it. That helps. Just be careful with the backing and not to leave it on the iron for too long. And don't do this. Don't hoop the tag. So change of plans. I'm not going to use these hoops anymore. You can use them if you want to, but I just realized that I have my magnetic hoops, so I can use that instead, and that's really going to help prevent the uh, hoop burn, which is this little mark that you get right here that satin is very prone to getting. So I'll be right back and get my magnetic hoops. All right, I'm back with my magnetic hoop. Yay. So let's go ahead and hoop this the easy way. So if you have magnetic hoops, lucky you. And if you're not an embroiderer, just stick around with me. I'm going to give you some more cool ideas for how to make this robe um, special, even more special than it's already going to be. All right, so I have my garment already hooped and traced, and I'm already ready to press start. So stick around to see how it looks. All right, so here we have our finished product, and I put it on so you guys can see what it looks like on. And um, this is really great if you have a wedding coming up and you are um, going to take pictures. You can take pictures with your bridesmaids. Even on the day of, you can, you can all get ready together and take pictures. I see a lot of pictures that say bride, bridesmaid with the robes um, showing. And then also if you're an embroiderer, um, which most of you who are watching this probably are, if you're an embroiderer, then this is a great way to, of tapping into a new market and um, offering this type of embroidery to people who are in need of it. So one more thing that I wanted to mention was that I, I'm also going to um, decorate the left chest of this robe. And um, that this is something else that you can do to make it special. So I'm going to put the name of my um, sister and her fiance and then I'm going to put the uh, wedding date. And then under it, I'm going to uh, write who, what the right, who the title, what the title of the, um, of the person in the wedding is going to be. So for instance, it'll say my sister's name, her fiance's name, the date, and then right under it, it'll say bridesmaid or maid of honor or mother of the bride, whatever their designation is. All right, so I wanna thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and to subscribe to our channel. And I also wanna invite you guys to join our Facebook community, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. In there, you can chat with me and other embroiderers. We have thousands of other embroiderers sharing awesome advice. So if you have advice of your own or if you're looking for advice, go ahead and join and don't be afraid to introduce yourself. So I'll see you guys there and thank you so much for watching this video. Stay right here and I'm going to show you exactly a great meow, the subscribe button and to be sure me.